What's up guys? Upcycle the best here. On today's episode we are going to work on the red Mark II GTI. I just bought a new radio for the car and I want to replace the dodgy old antenna which was manually which I had to pull out uh, every time manually and I'm going to swap it for an automatic one. There will be a twist with the radio. If you're interested, stay tuned for more. So this is the old radio, this was already modded with modern LED lights and it works perfectly, beside the cassette player which I kinda screwed up but it was working perfectly but I wanted to change it with a more advanced one. And the problem with this one is that it has absolutely no backlight. So I will have to I will have to change the LEDs on this one as well. And because I have to redo all of the interior lighting of the radio, I will do a Bluetooth mod as well. So stay tuned if you're interested guys and don't forget to subscribe. So here is the disassembled radio and here is one little bulb, here is another one, here is the third, the fourth and here is the main one for the display, here. and. Um, I'm going to swap all of these out for green LEDs, but be aware, there are different kind of LEDs. These ones are 12 volts, because the common ones are uh, 3.5 volts, but uh, all of these little uh, bulbs are 12 volts. But um, if you're trying to make this mod as well, be aware that the diodes, the LED diodes, have a polarity. It has a positive and a negative side. So when you are installing them, be sure that the polarity is correct.
before putting it all together I just wanted to test it and it looks pretty damn awesome great success Okay, so now it's assembled, everything back, how it... Sup dude! <laughs> okay, so it's assembled and uh, it works, I tested it out, but I will show you the final result. And now we need to implement this little Bluetooth receiver. And I found on the internet some sources on which they will hack the signal from the AM radio because basically no one uses AM and the source for that is here this is uh, right or left, right or left channel so I will have to splice my input right here and I also will have to cut the traces Okay guys, so I finished the Bluetooth mod and I'm testing the radio right now and it's amazing! Check it out! Bluetooth on a 30 year old Mark II GTI. So this is a royalty free song from Whitebat Audio. If you're into retro synthwave music, I highly recommend this channel. As you can see, this is the Bluetooth Giru, Giru uh, Bluetooth 5908. Okay, it's active. I hit play. Okay. Okay guys, so here is the finished Resto modded Gamma radio. It works perfectly as expected. It wasn't that hard. It uh, takes uh, moderate uh, soldering skills and a little bit of electrical know-how. Uh, it was okay, all right. I'm really pleased with the results. Okay, so the next thing is that I need to swap out this broken dodgy uh, radio which I've put it uh, when I bought the car it's an aftermarket one only this part is original this little rubbery plastic part which I will reuse as well and we will have to install this bad boy so, if you're having fun, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. 
Okay, so let's unbox this bad boy. I already cut the plastic. Chunky boy. Cool. Looks pretty nice. So you have the ground, you have the positive feed, and the blue one is the signal wire. When you turn on the radio, this this blue uh, this green one gets hooked to the radio, and when you turn on the radio, the antenna should rise. Neat! raining but we shall continue our great work Okay, so let me show you how my dashboard looks like. Bam! Here is the radio. On the camera it doesn't look that nice, but it's really really subtle and nice. You can see the... Everything is illuminated. Nice and evenly, almost evenly. It's pretty shitty on camera, but look at this, BAM! So this is the mod. Great success! <laughs> 